so I've just taken off on a short kayaking trip for the weekend, something I want to do for a while here. Took off from the beach probably about mm, 10 minutes ago. Uh, I'm going to be heading up north along the Puget Sound. Not exactly sure where I'm going to stay for the night. Um, just going to see how far I get. Hoping that I'll get to Blake Island. It's kind of like this Native American um, uh, state park. Um, if I don't get it that far, I might just stay on the west side of Vashon Island. Um, when I was about 10 years old, I did a kayaking trip around Vashon Island. I remember there was a few camping spots around there, so I guess we'll just have to see. It's a beautiful day, but looks like there is some weather that's a little iffy above and below. So it's supposed to be some patchy rain, but I guess we'll see in a few hours. All right, there's Point of Defiance. Now I'm going to head that way. That's uh, Colvo's Passage right there, Vashon Island to the right. And head down that way, and hopefully there's a camping spot along the way. Be on there, Blake Island, see if I make it. Gig Harbor right there. Narrows Bridge. Me, right here. Halfway between uh, Point Defiance and Vashon Island here, kind of the biggest channel. Uh, Got to say that there is something kind of anxiety inducing about being in a large body of water by yourself. Um, it's the first time I've, well, this is the farthest I've ever really been from the, from the shore, but the, uh, the weather's not really picking up so much. It's actually, I got the current on my side, so yeah, I'll get there sooner than later. so calm right now. Couldn't have chosen a better day. morning. Slept all right. Kind of a little off and on. By the end of uh, the evening, I could barely lift my beer. My arms were uh, aching so bad. But, um, man, I look really good this morning. Guess I'm going to see uh, what kind of day I'm going to have rowing back. Well, it looked worse yesterday morning, so... Hopefully it'll clear out later in the evening. Started 
It's really scary being in the pathway of these ferries coming back and forth here. The wake could obviously, you know, tip a little kayak like this over. Um, I was paddling like crazy to get from Blake Island here to, uh, yeah, the other side because, yeah, those ferries are no joke. So, thankfully I'm not directly in the path, but I need to get going because the wake from that could still easily make me pretty wet. Not good. So all in all, the kayaking trip was a lot of fun. It was also quite a learning experience. Um, I forgot to bring enough food. For some reason, I usually bring enough food on my longer hikes and usually day trips. But this time, since it was kayaking, um, for whatever reason, I decided not to bring any food. So I was pretty much going about six to seven hours on my way back without anything to eat. And that was pretty much the main motivator to get back. At certain points, I was getting a little woozy, a little lightheaded from lack of nutrients, but just kept on powering through. Through the whole trip, it was 38 miles, about 18 miles there, 18 miles back. I had no idea how long it was going to be, but yeah, it turned out to be um, doable. So I think this might be the start of more kayaking trips in the future. We'll see. Um, I'd like to get out there when... Uh, weather gets a little bit nicer but yeah thanks for watching this video and i'll see you next time